Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. What's up guys? Here with a Diablo guide video. This time we are going to be talking about the Demon Hunter and the build we're going to be working on deals with multi shot. If that is our main spender we're gonna be using. Multi shot is just a huge AoE cone of death and destruction. And this build is basically pure buffing that and using that to mow down waves of mobs. Now I have used this build to clear at 50, which the top 1000 is a 58, is like the lowest. So I'm pretty proud of that considering I've only been working on this guy for about a week and a half maybe. So basically we're gonna be going to be going over the skills, the cube, and certain pieces of gear that you're gonna need. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, first off, we have our skills. Now, if you have some variation you want to throw into it, you can, but this is what I use to clear my 50. So, of course, for our left click, we have Evasive Fire. Evasive Fire is just a straight shot, and we also use the cold one, which increases the hatred regen to 5, I mean to 7. And so it's just a, a straight shot like that, and we use the cold rune for the slow. I'll tell you why I'm here in a minute. Our spender is multi-shot, which we use the arsenal rune, which is for fire, which means every time you fire, launch three rockets at a nearby enemy that each deal 300% weapon damage as fire. As you can see, our random rockets going everywhere. Our number one, we use preparation. We use the invigoration rune, which gives you a passive 15% maximum discipline. And, and preparation just instantly restores 30 discipline. Our number two is, I use, some people use cow drops for the crit bu buff with uh, bait, but we are going, but I use smoke screen just because I am really squishy and I want to be able to, you know, survive. It's also good because sometimes I can just pop smoke screen and go to town and kind of, you know, avoid some just straight damage and I can get some good damage in. And I use the lingering fog rune, which just makes you last, makes it last for about another uh, five seconds, 0.5 seconds. For my number three, I use Vault, and I also use Tumble. So Vault's just the, you know, acrobat the acrobatic uh, jump. And after using Vault, your next Vault within six seconds has its discipline cost reduced by 50%, which basically just means we can Vault for a little while. Vault, 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 Vault. Preparation, refill, keep going. Lots of getting away, lots of being able to pick up the right moms we need. For my number four, I use Companion, and I use the Wolf Companion which when you pop him, just gives you a huge damage boost. Passives. I use Call of the Weak, which increases the damage against slowed and chilled targets, which they get slowed from my base of fire. Ambush, you deal 40% additional damage to enemies above 75% health. I don't need to explain that one, it's just boss. Awareness, when you receive fatal damage, you instead vanish for 2 seconds and regenerate 50% of your maximum life. And it can occur for 60 seconds. It's really good. Like I said, I'm crazy squishy on my Demon Hunter. So, you know, having, uh, you know, a second chance to live, <laughs> a little cheat death is not bad. And I also use Ballistics. Increases the damage of rockets by 100%. And we also get rockets from our multi-shot. And in addition, you have a 20% chance to fire a homing rocket for 150% uh, damage when you attack. So, it's just more rockets, you know, they go everywhere and they do a lot of damage. Also be careful, because if you're trying not to aggro certain mobs that are close to you, chances are your rockets are going to go shoot them in the face and pull them. Alright, for gear, we, I don't know, I guess you'd call it the Unsanctified set. I don't actually know the name of this set, it sounds really bad, but you use all six pieces, helm, chest, shoulders, gloves, pants, and boots. I, I have a Hellfire Amulet, which is amazing, I, I has steady aim which just increases my damage when I'm far away from enemies. There's some also required items. Focus restraint, you know, when you use a, when you use a generator, you gain a 50% damage boost. When you use a spender, you get a damage buff. So basically, with this build, you're constantly regening, constantly spending, so you want that buff up all the time. It is a huge difference maker. You There's a, a bow you need called Yang's Recurve, which multi-shot attacks 50% faster. You know, come on. You want to be able to just blow as much power as you can. And it also reduces the resource cost by about 40%. Uh, 
I can be up to 50, so that's what you want, but it's a, it's, like, you have to have it. You also want the Dead Man's Legacy Quiver. Its special ability is multi-shot hits enemies below 60% health twice. Which, of course, like, you know, once you get 60, you're hitting them double, double damage. You know, it's a no-brainer. The bracers I use are Wraps of Clarity, which, when you use a Hatred Generator, you gain a 35% damage reduction buff for 5 seconds. Just amazing. Our belt is Hunter's Wrath, which your primary your primary skills attack 30% faster, and they deal mine deals 47. I believe it's up to 60%. Yeah. And when you're f spamming mobs, multi shot gets really expensive and burns through your hatred. So with that, you want to be able to just regen as fast as possible. And I also, for the gems I use, I use a Ice Blink for the slow, and your base of fire will slow them, and it's just awesome. It also works with Bane of the Trap, which you're also going to have them slowed all the time. And of course, a Zell Stone of Vengeance, you know, the farther you are away from them, the more damage you do. So you want to try to keep your distance. If they get close, falls away, you go to 10. All right, the final part of this is our cube. Now, I have cubed a cinder coat for they're making my fire damage spells cost 30% less which is amazing I have a convention of elements cubed you know it's just 200% more damage going out and I, I found it really popular that using a thunder fury in your cube isn't bad I use a Templar who has a word I would word on which lightning damage has a 32% chance to stun my follower also has a thunder fury so just lots of lightning going out, stunning your targets is awesome. But of course, you know, the thing you need and really want is a Calamity. Calamity just puts Mark for death and where they take a crap load more damage. It's just a got to have. Alright guys, well there you go. That is my quick guide to the Multishot Demon Hunter. I know that seemed a little quick and a little rushed. But that's what I want in these videos. I know that I see a lot of people who make the guides, and especially me in my first barb guide. It, it's a long video. And I know that when I play, I want to learn what I need to do and get right to playing. And so that's what these quick guides are for. I'm going to make sure that with the builds I make, you are going to be able to at least clear a 40. You know, if you build the same build I have, a 40 should be no problem. I know it's not very high, but it's good enough to get your gems to 25 and to get a good amount of blood shards and some loot. And so I'll be putting that out for each class, a lot of different builds, and just stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. What's up, guys? Cuckoo here. Just want to say thank you all for watching. It really means a lot to me. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep track of this series and others to come, and uh, just keep on being awesome. Bye.